Okay, so uh, what is Norwood Grand? So Norwood Grand has actually the tagline of true luxury, okay, has arrived in the new north. Okay, so why they call it new north? Because because for Woodlands, right, a lot of people, you know, feel that it's an old place, a matured place. But guys, there's a part of Woodlands, if you have ne not been there for some time, have a drive. Okay, there's going to be a new area, okay, which is called the Woodlands North. Okay, and today we are at Woodlands South MRT. Okay, so these whole areas are pretty new in terms of its development. Okay, so it's by CDL and its Chinese name is uh, Jingling Jia Yuan. Okay, scenery, forest, blissful and garden. Okay, so in terms of its Sofia location, uh, I hope you have already visited. Uh, if not, not to worry. Okay, we're still arranging next week. If we can have some slots, you can still come by. But take note, the show flat is not on site. The show flat is located along Sambawang Vista, right next to Sun Plaza and Sambawang MRT. Okay, so take note, sales gallery is not on site. The sales gallery is in Sambawang itself. Okay, project information. Okay, so this is Norwood Grand District 25 by CDL. Okay, so in terms of its tenure, it's a 99 year. Address is 2, 6, 8, and 10 Champions Way. Okay, so block 4 is actually the early childhood development center. So it's four blocks of 11 stories. Okay, so only four blocks of 11 stories, level 1 to level 11. Okay, so we do also have a early childhood development childcare open to public, okay, on level 1 of the development itself. Okay, one basement parking. Okay, with a full condo facilities, swimming pool, you know, tennis court, 348 units. Okay, the site is quite big, eh? 155,000 square feet. Expected vacant possession on paper, okay, is 2030, but this is on paper. Usually, the expected TOP will be earlier, sometimes by one year to even one and a half years. Okay, so take note. So next year is already 2025. Right, so if TOP is going to be like 2029, it's usually around three and a half to four years. Okay, so it's quite a typical time frame for a new development. Okay, in terms of its car park, we are at 80%. So uh, two, eight, three car parks, okay, with three EV lots and 87 bicycle lots. Architects, ADDP, okay, landscape consultant, EcoPlan, Index Design is the interior designer, and of course, Builder is Warhub. Okay, so Champions Way, what is the main selling point, okay, ladies and gentlemen? So the main selling point for Champions Way, right, this Norwood Grand, is basically this is the first launch in 12 years. Okay, so over the last 12 years, there's nothing, right? So every year is what we call pent-up demand. So every year, there's people that want to buy, but they have no opportunity to buy any new launch. That's, that's why we say that this Norwood Grand will sell very fast, okay, because of its pent-up. Imagine every new launch, you know, units will sell, right? Imagine 12 years, they can't buy anything. Okay, so we only have 348 units, okay? So that's why we are saying that put some focus into products and projects that will sell. Okay, so who's the developer? CDL, okay? You must know, uh, CDL, it's a world-renowned uh, developer, okay? 60 over years of experience, really, okay? So CDL is sometimes people buy projects uh, because of the developer as well. So you have to highlight to them that the developer is CDL. Okay, of course, some of the recent projects you guys may have been familiar. <clears throat> we have the Miss, Lumina Grand, you know, Tempusu Grand, of course, all the way to high-end properties, uh, Canning Hill Pierce, Irwell, and also Boulevard 88. So a big range of experience. Okay, so your buyers will be assured that they'll be buying from a quality developer. Okay, so <clears throat> what is the architect's concept? I think sometimes when we present a project, we have to give them some of the storyline. Eh? Okay, so it's by ADDP Architects. Okay, so ADDP actually done a lot, a lot of developments. Ready. Okay, so recently we have Tapestry, the Park Colonial, Key Residences, and also Martin Modern. So they are really very important uh, architects. They've done a lot of projects all, all around Asia as well. Okay, so of course the landscape, there will be a uh, eco Plan Asia, right? The Mies uh, well, Warhub as the builder, okay? And of course, Index Design. So Index Design also did the renovation for uh, well. So you can you imagine, you know, if you've been to the show flat for Norwood Grand, it's actually very, very beautiful, right? So they also design high-end show flat. So the client actually, when they enter, you know, when the first time we went to the show flat, we were also very surprised, okay? It's really beautiful. You know, if you haven't been there, please take some time to visit the show flat yourself. Okay, so what's the story and design concept? So they call this the 
arboreal architecture. Okay, so the, the designer and architects, they design it called the arboreal architecture. So what does it mean? Okay, it means, you know, having proximity between dwellers and landscape, right? So you want staying in the landscape as a kind of concept, okay? And they play around with curved walls, okay? Floating forms okay? Mar with a marriage of architecture and trees, okay, in a living space. So you will see a lot of curved designs, you know, in the development itself. So, you know, I always share the, the, the sales team, you know, our leadership team. You know, it's like having, you know, like Apple office, you know, so very clean, minimalist, you know, curved lines, and yet you still have greens inside. So when you visit a show flat, you will see a lot of white and green. So it's a very beautiful uh, show flat. Okay, so this is the concept that they give to Norwood Grand. Okay, so this is just some of the the uh, uh, perspectives uh, you have see curved lines so along the ponds and water features you'll be able to see these curves okay so this is how it represents okay so again to show you how curves look like to mix together with nature greens and nature and architecture okay so this another outlook for well, these are just its concept uh, but where you will see all the curves okay this is where you will see all the beautiful curves in the development for Norwood Grant Okay, so for example, when you come into the, the entrance on the right, the drop-off areas, okay, very beautiful architecture down here. Also the childcare center, okay, you do see all these uh, walls and forms and greenery. Our clubhouse, okay, you see a lot of nice architecture. And of course, the three top walks, okay. So these are the main, you know, highlights of architecture in Norwood Grand. So these are things that you can, you know, pick up when you're at the sales model. You don't have to point to all these uh, beautiful features because I think, this is an expression of art, you know, it makes people happy and it feels very, very luxurious. Okay, so take note of this uh, arboreal design. Okay, so and also for clients that are, you know, uh, asking about green mark. Yes, we do have a BCA green mark of platinum low energy luxury home. Okay, so they have to meet a lot of different standards uh, to get these marks. Okay, so give you an example, right? They have a minimal direct west facing okay later on you know we have our these to share with you most of the units are north south facing okay and inside each unit okay there's natural ventilation and also a ceiling fan provided okay so this is part of their requirements okay so to reduce heat so on and so forth of course they use environmental uh, friendly products and finishes okay to avoid pollution and things like that okay so all this basically is part of the requirements to get this bca Okay, they use a lot of energy saving, aircon, lights, lift, and of course, they also have solar panels on the top of the uh, development itself, okay, to give it more, you know, energy saving efficiency. Okay, of course, green features need not to say all the greenery, you know, to reduce heat. Also, they have the pneumatic waste system, okay, all the way to the basement. So, the uh, rubbish, you know, the refuge agent, uh, area is all in the basement uh, car park area, okay. And of course, you have your apps to do uh, all your facility booking. So, for clients that are very green conscious, uh, do let them know uh, we are BCA Green Mark certified. Okay, in terms of the unit types, we have got one plus study, which is 495 square feet, a total of 31 units only. Okay, so uh, to uh, have some highlight on this unit and push more. Okay, two bedroom, we have two, two bed, two bath. Okay, all our bed, two bedroom will come with two bathroom. Okay, two bed, two bath. Uh, starting from six to four square feet, a uh, total of 77 units. Then uh, two bedroom on street study, which is inside the master room. Okay, and this is a corner unit, like only 11. Okay, it's on stack 14, which is only 11 units. Okay, uh, please take note, master bathroom come with window. Okay, for this unit. Okay, the rest because uh, two bed, two bath, six to four units all in the center. That's why there's no window inside the bathroom. Okay, whereas this one, two bedroom ensuite study is actually at the corner. Okay, so we also have two bedroom study, uh, which is uh, the show unit, eh? 710 square feet. We have got 43 units. Okay, the total one and two bedroom, we have, we actually covers about 46. 0.5% of the whole development. So do take note and push on this unit. And agents who is interested also, uh, please take a look at the plan and can you can place your check. 
during uh, our review. Okay, for three bedroom deluxe, can okay, be range from 872 to 883, total of 33 units. Okay, three bedroom study, uh, we also have got 904, 22 units. Three bedroom premium and study, 1044 square feet, 33 units. Okay, these are all the corner units. And uh, four bedroom study, 1173, this is a smaller four bedroom, which is uh, very affordable. Okay, and four bedroom premium plus study, which is also the show flat, uh, the show unit. Uh. Size, we've got two sizes, 1313 and 1335, total 76 unit. Okay, that's make up of 348 in total. Okay, uh, Alex, next, next slide. Okay, according to the segment, you can take a look. Uh, uh, this is actually the grand arrival where the pickup drop off point will be here. This area is actually the management office. Okay, there's the lift down here to B1. And also, uh, we have got two side gate. This side gate here, which is linked directly. Okay, uh, we are actually three minutes walk from Woodland South MRT, which is situated. Uh, on the south side of this map which is uh, from here okay to here correct so it's about three minutes walk huh? so another side gate will be at the child care center which is this okay this one got two doors so one door is actually access to the child care center and then another door will be to the resident okay next uh we have got this 50 meter flat pool. Okay, and on the right side is actually a children pool and the aqua deck. Okay, which is this area. Then uh, clubhouse. Clubhouse is on uh, this area. Okay, and then uh, we have got this uh, gym, which is on the second floor and the dining stereo on the on the second floor also okay function room and clubhouse is 14 which is on the ground floor there's a lift okay can gain access to from b1 to the first story okay which is here okay tennis court one tennis court so this is a full facilities uh development huh? both side of the tennis court is actually our barbecue pit Okay, we call it a barbecue east and barbecue west, uh, which is uh, come with this uh, burner. Okay, no charcoal, uh, and it's not in induction, it's using burner. Okay, total we have got uh, 348 units in four towers. Okay, four blocks, uh, block two, block six, block eight, and block 10. Each block we will have eight units. Okay, range from one bedroom to four plus study. Uh, Okay, in different blocks. And every box will have two leaf core. Two leaf core, uh, which is here. It's all facing the north. Okay, from this map, you can see it's north-south facing. Okay, uh, north-south, correct. So all the north side for individual block, two leaf core. Okay, and then uh, for for those who is actually looking for uh, some find they are looking at this rubbish chute uh, okay maybe you can if you are with the map maybe you, can, you can mark down uh for block eight block eight uh, okay it's outside 23 and 24. ah correct it's uh it's, it's here and block 10 is actually outside stack 29. okay for block uh, two will be at stack five. Okay, and then for block six, it will be at stack twelve. Okay, do highlight to the client if, like, say they do not want any rubbish shoot outside their house. Okay, try to avoid this unit. Okay, and uh, 
Let's see, the children playground is actually right behind. It's come with a lot of free surrounding and there's a tree top walk, which is about 50 meters, 50 meters. Okay, 50 meters long, a tree top walk. walk. Uh, I think that's all about this map. Okay, surrounded. Okay, this is the actual site, as you can see. Okay, MRT station is on the server, which is here. Behind is actually Innova Plambury. We are 18 meters away. Okay, someone uh, asked, okay, in between the two blocks, is the distance is actually 36 meters. Yes, correct. It's 36 meters. Okay. Uh, you can see opposite the south is actually a HDB block, which is uh, undergoing construction. Okay. And then on the east side, which is uh, also under, is a champagne green, HDB also under construction. Okay. Next. Okay, so you can see 36 meters wide eh? between the, 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 the block. Okay, Innova Plan B is actually four story high. So all those facing the north uh for for these two block, a uh, block eight and block ten. Okay, this facing above fifth floor, you will be uh you will you will, you will clear the, the the school. Okay, this is the vehicle entrance and once you come in from the main gate okay the security post will be around here okay and then the gantry will be here also and drop off point will be at the round circle okay another entrance this one when you go straight proceed to the right is actually the resident entrance okay if you turn to the left is actually the childcare center. Childcare center are uh, two level, level one and level two. Uh, B one is actually uh, the drop off point, drop off a area. There is a roundabout there, a small roundabout where you can drop off and then just turn up from there. And if you go all the way straight in, is actually our uh, this substation and our uh, bin center which is also in B1. Okay, please note this entrance cannot go into residential car park. Okay, to residential car park, only one area which is on the right side. Huh? Right side in and then right side also come up from there. Okay, bicycle lot total, we got 87, which is located uh, just next uh, to the arrival hall below uh, B1. There's two areas that you can park. Okay, which is on the uh, somewhere in the six up uh, six below. Okay. Next. Okay, these are the the indication of the okay the the childcare center. Okay, and the main drop off point, and then uh, also the future high rise. Development, we call it Champion Green. Uh, okay, which is uh, right next to the this childcare center, opposite road. Okay, next. Okay, this is the vehicle entrance where I highlight to you just now that there is a roundabout. Okay, roundabout where you can turn out. Okay, the two side gate also will be here which is on top uh, for for parents to come in to pick up and then or for for residents to go in to get entrance to the development okay and the side gate also just in front next okay this is the evening view uh, very grand you can see from the perspective here. Okay, next. Okay, landscape. Okay, we have got this grand arrival plaza, which is on one. 
Okay, water courtyard is on the two. Okay, grand drop off is three. Okay, uh, for number four is re reflective pond. And then garden walk on five. And then six is the thank you uh, lounge. And then we have got this swing, which is on the seven. Okay, notice here when the place where we place the J, uh, J is actually below when it's B1 is actually the bicycle lock. Okay, the 2J. Okay, see very grand. Oh, when you come home, okay, just one turn, you can go out or you can turn uh, to your right, you'll, you'll go into the development, the entrance of the development. Okay, you can see all the curves. Okay, nice curve. Okay, uh, next. Okay, landscape facilities. Okay, we have got the aqua deck which is on the eight, and a kids pool which is on the nine. Okay, usually for the kids pool and this uh, aqua, uh, kids pool uh, kids pool actually normally is zero point nine meters. The rest would be one point two. Okay, we have also have got a fifty meter lap pool, which is on the ten, and also the pool deck eleven, uh, where you have benches all that. Very nice. Later, you can see the thing when the next few slides. Okay, Grand Club, we got this gym on the second story, which is 12. And then 13 is actually the dance studio. Okay, when you are uh, having a gym, you can overlook the whole of the swimming pool. Okay, changing room, which is on the 14, and come with this team room also. Uh, function room is on the 15, which is on the level 1. Okay, 16, we have this family lounge. And then uh, social deck on the 17. And barbecue pavilion, which is, uh, as I say, is on the left right of this tennis court. Or they call it barbecue pavilion east and west. Okay, one bit each. Uh, okay, it's by burner. And uh, of course, the uh, tennis court on the 20. Okay, next. Uh, you can see on the day daytime, very nice setup. You can see the treetop walk from here. Yes. Okay, there's also path uh, in the development. I think when you, when you walk or slow walk or, or run inside one round it should be about 400 meters it's all linger okay next okay you can see the our very nice gym okay overlook the swimming pool area okay next okay tree top walk which is on the second story you can see here this is one of the attractions, uh, very seldom we can find tree top walk. Okay, this is the path where I'm, I'm mentioning, uh, where you can, can run all the way, or one round. Or you can slow walk, one round. Okay, another perspective of the project, you can see the tree top walk. Okay. Alex was saying what Henderson wave. Okay, we don't have to uh, go to uh, this area where we can we can have one here. Okay, I can see all the around the surrounding. Okay, this is something like this. Tree top walk. And a lot of plants, a lot of trees around. Okay, next. And see the pathway. And then beautiful setup. Huh? You can relax with some... Uh, chairs, all that around, hanging around.
Okay, so for this map itself, right, we just received the file as well as the mass briefing. Later, we'll send it out to all of you after this briefing. So in case you can't see, because there's a lot of things happening in this map, so later we'll send you a better resolution one. So for Norwood Grand, as you know by now, right, is located at Woodlands. So for Woodlands, right, when you are meet your clients, they may have different groups of clients. Some of them have been staying there and familiar with the location. Some of them maybe have not been to Woodlands for a very long time. So I'll share on different points and the important things to take note, how you want to share with your clients, like whether it's targeting young families, upgraders, or more for investors. Okay, so with the actual location, right, just like Alex mentioned, for Norwood, the main benefit or rather the things to highlight is the connectivity. Connectivity, one of them, of course, is the Woodland South MRT station, is the Thompson East Coast Line. It's just three minutes walk from the actual site itself. So this uh, Thompson East Coast Line is a new line that will connect you throughout the whole of Singapore, which I'll share later on in other slides. And not only through MRT station, it's well connected through the expressway as well, through SLE and the upcoming future North-South Corridor, which is at the top right corner. So this is under construction, is target to complete by 2027. So this will help to ease the traffic condition as well as to shorten the traveling time to the CBD area. So by the time Norwood is ready, this should be up and ready as well. So the next thing, of course, to highlight is the RTS. So if you are reading the news, right, for RTS, it is ongoing. So this is an ongoing project and it's going to complete target in N2026 and 2027. So if you were to actually visit the Emirati Park, you will see that the bridge are already connected all the way to Johor site. So this one should be targeted to complete quite soon. And for people who come at Woodlands, uh, no matter where you stay, Definitely you'll come by to Woodlands because that is where you need to pass by before you enter JB. So for Norwood Grand itself, right, we are connected. Uh, if let's say the traffic is smooth, you should be able to reach Johor within 15 to 20 minutes time. So this will eventually really ex increase your spending power by three times within 15 minutes. In fact, it's actually even nearer to compare nearer to JB compared to going to Orchard area. Okay. So the next thing to highlight, of course will be the uh, Woodlands Integrated Transport Hub. So Integrated Transport Hub, right, is where the Causeway Point, the Wood Square, Civic Center, all things will be located there, whereby if you want to buy your amenities, your restaurant, and even come with a air-conditioned bus interchange. So just in case you want to travel, you don't feel like, I want to squeeze in the train, I want to take a bus ride, well, that's where the bus interchange will be. And on top of the Transport Hub is a Woodlands Regional Center where the Republic Poly and the Future Innovation Node will be. So these are some of place, if let's say you are targeting investors, they want somewhere that will be as a strategy and where the tenant pool will be, these will be the two areas. And also the newly opened Woodlands Health Campus, we just opened this year, early this year. Eh? So the Woodlands Health Campus is where uh, is new. So there will be your target tenant pool as well. And for a lot of people who may not know, there is an international school in Woodlands, which is a Singapore American school. So that international school also helps to pull in the tenant pool. And just now, Alex actually mentioned about the pen up demand. So in fact, in the whole of Woodlands, right, if you are familiar, there is less than 10 condominiums in Woodlands itself. And none of the condominiums, right, is within three three minutes walking distance to any other MRT station. So Norwood, right, is a one of kind, or rather, is a project that will stand out. Not only it will covers the supply and demand shortfall, as well as a high demand, and a lot of people are anticipating for this land to be launched. And we have got very very limited units, which is only a three hundred forty eight units. Okay. So, uh, for those clients who have young children, or rather, you know, they are setting up families. For here, right, there will be schools, there will be childcare center, not only at the doorstep, and surrounding there will be childcare center, there will be playgrounds, and there will be park connectors as well. So these are all the things that uh, you can share with your clients, depending on which group you are targeting. Okay. So I'll move on to the next slide. So this one is show you the 500 meter radius of the actual site, some of amenities and facilities around there. 
So beside you, you do have the, the Innova Primary School, the, the all the expressway, Vista Point Shopping Mall. That is where is you get your nearest grocery, eateries like McDonald's or coffee shop, all these will be there. And if you look at the surrounding 500 meter radius, right, this is a new township. That means there's a lot of new upcoming BTOs that will be coming. And these BTOs, right, also act as a strategy for you for upgraders in future, if you were to sell. Okay, so I'll move on to the next slide. So, Woodlands is located at Champions Way. So, just now I mentioned the key notes, like where is the Woodlands South MRT station, the Vista Point, the Nova JC, and the Singapore Sports School. Singapore Sports Schools, right, will be moving out. So, if you read the news, I think just one or two weeks ago, it will be <coughs> moving out to Kalang. And this whole plot of land, right, at the moment is zoned as at education site. At the moment, there is no plans, but eventually we wouldn't know. Maybe the government may have changed or used for the land because it's a huge plot of land. That also may help you as an exit strategy as well. Okay, the next slide. So this one is a Google map to show you exact distance where the Woodland South will be. It's a three minutes walk and all the keynote area. Health campus at the bottom. Salita, the SLE is just right. I think just a short two to three minutes drive, you reach the SLE uh, expressway and as well as the Woodlands interchange. Okay, so the next slide. So connectivity, just now I cover a bit more on this really, so I'll highlight a bit more here. So this one is a Thompson East Coast line. So for people who actually has a chance to took the new Thompson East Coast line, one thing is new. Secondly, right, you realize that Thompson East Coast line, majority of the lines, or rather all the lines are underground. So in the past, right, for Woodlands, residents, whether you are staying in HDB or wherever, if you want to stay near to the train station, you will definitely have to endure the noise pollution from the train tracks. But this one, not only is near to us, it's underground. So you enjoy the convenience as well. You don't need to endure the noise pollution. So something more about this Thompson East Coast Line is that it brings you across the island of Singapore to different areas, like for example, to the CBD, like the Shenton Way, to Orchard, Great World City, and even bring you to the Gardens by Bay. So maybe I'll share with you some of the experiences that. So in Singapore, we know that during big events like for example national day chinese new year new year there will be a fireworks or you want to go for some festivities right you do not want to go to garden by bay or mbs to jam there with your vehicle all this right so you can just hop onto the train go all the way there finish all the fireworks everything and you just take the train back to your doorstep so it's that convenient okay so this one is to show you the location it actually linked the whole of Thompson Coast Line, not only linked you from the north to central, it's going to link you all the way to the east, like the Stiglap area, the Burdock area. In fact, in future, it can link you all the way to the Changi Airport. So next time you don't want to you want to have a slow trip to Changi, take your time, you can just take hop onto a train and you reach Changi Airport in future. Okay. So the next slide. So this one is the largest integrated transport hub whereby it's connecting the interchange of a bus interchange, the MRT line, as well as the Thompson East Coast line, whereby you will have eateries, F and B inside this as well. So if you let's say, for example, for clients who are taking train, when they come home, they want to buy tapau some dinner or buy some snacks or buy breakfast, they can just buy from here as well. It's very convenient. Okay, the next slide. Okay, so this is a north-south corridor target to complete in 2027. If you have been uh, along the north area, Yuchukang area, Amoki area, you realize that there's a lot of major construction going on, right? In fact, they are actually building the north-south corridor. So this is a very special corridor. It's a uh, expressway because it's underground is one thing. Secondly, it comes with bus lane for those long-distance bus as well. It comes with bicycle tracks as well. So this will help to save the traveling time for 10 to 15 minutes because a lot of times people complain uh, from north, you want to go to the other parts of city, always jam, always what. So this will help to ease the traffic as well as the traveling time. Okay, the next. So this one I covered already. So I skip the next one. 
Okay, so this one is the regional center I mentioned earlier on. This is where the wood square, the civic center, everything, all your amenities, the restaurants, all these will be here. So it's just one station away. Okay, the next one. So amenities. So for just right beside us, there's an ACE, the place community center. So in case, for example, you got gatherings, you want a bigger crowd, like for example, you need to use the badminton court, table tennis, or you want to use your soccer field, your condo don't have, you just need to pop nearby, which is beside you, to enjoy the facilities as well. Okay, so the next slide. So these are where you do your grocery shopping, your eateries, you guys say you want to catch a movie or this, will be at Causeway Point, CB Center, Vista Point. So Vista Point is where you can get your McDonald's, your giant supermarket, all this will be over here. Causeway Point will be all the eateries, the cinema, all this will be very convenient. Okay, so the next one. So Woolers Health Campus, right, this one is newly opened. So we know that in Singapore, right, there's a few, government is actually trying to decentralize not only just the like, business area, they also want to make it convenient and more accessible for healthcare to your clients or the citizens around. So Woolens Health Campus is a newly opened campus early this year. So it's going to target to serve 400 beds, 1,000 of it for future use. Okay, so next one. So this one also comes with the Singapore largest therapeutic gardens too. Okay, so inside here, if let's say for example you find that uh, nearby, I uh, want to have a breeze wall, all this, you can actually go there and visit to relax as well. Okay, go to the next one. Okay, so Northern Explorer route. So for those people who are endurance in cycling, jogging, or you want to just have a stroll, we are very well, very well connected with the park connectors. There's total 11 parks and the nature areas that's connected to this northern Explorer loop and it's up to about 25 kilometers. So let's say for example, you want to link all the way to Salita to the Sambawang park, all this, right? You can use here. As well, it comes with playground, which is kids friendly as well. Okay. So the next one. So this is Emirati Park. I believe some of you may see this in your Instagram, in your TikTok. It's very trendy now. So it, like, it comes with a longer slide in South of Singapore. You can bring your kids there. So this is a topic to share with your clients. If you know that they got young children, you can ask them to visit this area as a recreation for their family. Okay, so next one. Okay, so for education wise, right? For clients who are going to families, right? Got children, definitely school is one of concern. So there will be approximately, in within a proximity, there's more than 20 school ranging from all the primary school to the secondary school we even have a polytechnic and the upcoming jc's that's coming up okay so next one so for this uh new gep system i'm not sure whether you are heard during the grand national rally it actually helps to uh benefits all other schools uh, because they always keep saying all schools are equal but keep saying but now they actually take things into action by implementing this GEP whereby all the primary school will have offer their own GEP program so students will not need to go to selected schools in order to enjoy this GEP so with so many primary school around here right in future the children will not be worried that oh, I need to fight for a good school or I need to move house just for a good school so we have the schools around here available ready for the clients and for Woodlands is a very mature and well established estate whereby everything and amenities is all well connected okay so the next so this is the Singapore American School which is an international school so for clients who are looking for investment this is one of the points whereby tenants and in fact you'll be surprised uh, when you're doing the launch itself you may see some uh, foreigner coming in please don't jump straight to conclusion that they cannot buy uh. they may be americans uh, because they may be a staff or employees working here or there may be families studying here so these are also your target pools of buyers that will be visiting the show flat okay so just pay attention on this okay the next slide so this is the mention early on the singapore sports school that will be going to move out so land is free up for transformation and if you look towards the left i think i'm not sure whether it's shown here 
You also read about the turf city that is going to move out, right? Turf club is going to move out. That huge plot of land will be uh, zone for transformation as well. So that one, I think Stella will share a bit more later on. So these are some of the exit strategy that you must have in the fingertips to share with your clients as well. Because some clients who then, they find that they come to Woolens just for by chance, because maybe you share some uh, new launch uh, articles or updates to them, they, out of curiosity, they just want to come here to see. But that's where you need to share more with them. Uh. So anyway, just a quick one on some of the schematics. Okay, so you guys know it's a four stock, four towers, four blocks of an 11 story. So first floor to 11 floor. So the top floor, there's no penthouses. So take note, there's no penthouses. And the ground floor unit, the PES, okay, the floor to ceiling height is still the same as the typical units. Okay, so one additional benefit is that they have an extra gate on the PES. Okay, they can access into the compound itself. Okay. Now, just a quick one on the floor plans. Uh, we have basically 11 different types of floor plan. We only have one unit type, which is the one plus study. So this is going to be the hot seller because this is the lowest entry quantum in the whole of Singapore that you can enter for a one plus study. So for new investors, you know, those uh, young people, they want to buy something, you know, they want to they own a, a new launch. Uh, this is where they can start their what you call property progression journey, right? So they can start off here. And of course, for those who have extra cash and they don't want to spend too much, they just want an investment that's good rental you next to the MRT, uh, they will start from this one bedroom, okay? And the important thing about our two bedrooms is that it starts with a two bed, two bar, okay? So not all developments, you know, start with two bed, two bar. Some is two bed, one bar, right? So two bar is always favorite, you know, for people for own stay and also to actually uh, buy for an investment. So just take note of this. Okay, three rooms with a couple of sizes from uh, the deluxe to study to premium data. I'll just run through a floor plan, a quick one so that you guys know what is it all about. Okay, and the four bedrooms, I think importantly is to take note the 1173 layout. I think it's good because it's a kind of a smaller compact size for four bedrooms. So there are customers that only want four bedrooms right so they don't mind having a, a smaller living but they just need four not their kids will you know fight you know together you know at this uh, uh four bedroom space uh. so this is really low quantum if you look at it it's only 1173 so later on, at the end i'll share a bit on the guide prices okay so our show flat we only have uh two types uh. one is the four bedroom premium and the other one is the two plus study itself so just a quick one the one plus study, uh, just to take note, this is the uh, one side kitchenette. Okay, so it comes with a uh, one dual door down here. Okay, so I think a good size uh, dining area and also the balcony. So I think balconies are, uh, you know, after pandemic and people treasure balconies. Uh, you can exercise here. A lot of people's balconies are very small, but this is quite a quite a good size balcony that you can actually make full use of it. So this is the one plus study. So you have a study down here that you can convert to become a utility, right? So if you don't need a study, it can be a utility, it can be, you know, your storage as well. Okay. So a two bedroom, which we are the smallest unit is a six to four square feet. It's a dumbbell layout. So I think the benefit of a dumbbell layout, you guys know, eh? so there's, it looks like as though there's a, a two master rooms, right? Because it's a dumbbell layout, right? So they have an attached bathroom here. It also has your attached bathroom down here. And of course, with the two bedrooms separated, it actually has more privacy, right? So the master room and the common bedroom is actually separated, right? So it gives it a little bit more privacy, okay? It comes with a U-shaped kitchen, okay? Induction, cooker, hood and hop, and of course, balcony, okay? So this is the smallest entry uh, pr uh, price, a uh, two bedroom uh, dumbbell layout. So the two bedroom ensuite study, okay, uh, just a, a little bit bigger, right? Six, six, seven. Okay, so what's important is that this is a typical layout with a two side kitchen, also comes with balcony. And take note, all units have balconies and all you need the common bedrooms can fit a queen size bed. Okay, so these are the common things in common. Now, all the units in normal gram in the common bedrooms can fit a queen size. And the ensuite study is actually very unique. Yeah? You have the study in the master room itself okay so with this study in the master room it gives them flexibility to become a a walk-in wardrobe or you want a nursery for kids or you want the additional dressing area you know if your spouse really needs a lot of makeup space uh, down here you can actually make full use of it so this gives a bit of different flexibility compared to the 
dumbbell layout. So this unit is only 11 units uh, and one stack only. Okay, so it's a corner unit. So I think this would sell out very fast because only 11 units. Okay, so this is the two bedroom with the study in the master itself. Okay, the other layout, which is a show flat, typical show flat uh, unit that you'll be seeing. We have 43 units down here, 710 square feet. Now, where's the size? The size will be down here at the study area, which is flexible that it can become a bigger dining if you want. Or if you like to have those like kitchen island, kitchen countertop, you know, you want like to do cooking uh, down here, or you want to make this as a workstation, right? Study, or if you're an artist, you know, so this extra space is really something that you know buyers can make use of, they can enclose it as well if they want at their own cost, uh, because this is currently only an open area study with an aircon up here. So there is an aircon down here. So the rest is up to the buyers, you know, creativity. Okay, so Yep, coming with a balcony, a queen size base, and of course, you have your attached master. So this will be the two plus study, which is actually uh, our show flat unit itself. Okay, the three rooms, the smallest unit is 872 square feet, a very efficient space. Uh. 872, you have balcony, you have a private foyer down here. Okay, close concept kitchen, right? You can enclose it. There's also a uh, a gas cooker and also windows to the kitchen. Okay, so a very nice, a uh, typical layout. And they have a study corner down here. So this study corner again, you can be like for those uh, uh the smaller piano up. Uh, and of course you have a or you want it to be a display corridor, right? So this extra study is a good space, you know, for them to actually work from home. Okay, so similarly, all the bedrooms uh, come with uh what do you call that uh, a queen. I mean not comes with uh, it can fit queen size bed. And all having the same facing, same direction, right? So the three room, two room master, all facing the same direction. So the kids don't need to fight. Uh, my view better than your view. Okay. So also it comes with windows in the bathrooms. Okay. So this is a very nice uh, three room kind of a layout, eight seven two square feet. Okay. Uh, slightly bigger, just eleven square feet bigger. The difference uh comes a little bit more onto the entrance area because uh, it's a slightly longer walkway. If not, everything inside remains quite similar. Eh? So just the walkway difference, and there's only 11 units to this. So just uh, uh, 10 over square feet more. Okay, so the bigger three rooms, which is the three plus study, it's 904 square feet. <coughs> this will be more like the dumbbell layout for three bedroom. Okay, so you're coming in, you have your uh, dining area, <coughs> and this study, okay, again, that can be flexible, it can be bigger dining. So you can fit like eight seater, 10 seater, but I mean, depends on the family size. Right, so you have one bedroom, which is the third bedroom on the extreme left, which is like your, your dumbbell layout. Okay, and then of course you have your master on the right itself. Okay, so this comes with a wet and dry kitchen. So a very beautiful kitchen. Uh, so a big kitchenette outside that uh, you know makes it look part of the living room itself. So these are just some of the differences uh, between the smaller three bedroom and of course the three plus study, right? So this study area, yeah, it can be enclosed again. Okay, so the even bigger one is called the three bedroom premium, right? The three bedroom plus study. So where's the difference? This big study can be a part of the living room. So there's this very nice layout that if you don't want to study, it's going to be a big, you know, living area. It also has a bigger uh, home shelter. Okay, and it comes with a yard and a WC, you know, at the kitchen area. So also it can be enclosed. Huh? So this, are, this is going to be a very big size a living area for a 1044 square feet. Again, going to be a hot seller because only 11 units. So demand and supply. So whole development only have 11 units from the first floor to the 11th floor. So if they don't like the first floor, only left 10 units. If they only want first floor, they only have one unit. Okay, so so this is where I think uh, you can kill your buyers look into this layout. This is a very nice layout you know, with the extra study area. Okay, the other layout, I think uh, the difference is the wet and dry kitchen okay in a different direction uh, more like a similar to like a mirror image right so a uh, study down here so again you can explore the floor plans in higher quality we'll be sending out uh, later to you now four bedroom this is one of my favorites because uh it's a 1173 uh it's not like it's thousand five thousand six square feet you know later on people also cannot afford right now so affordability is key in every project so 1173 you get four sleeping bedrooms not only that you also get a study Okay, so at 1173, you get four bedrooms and you get one study. So the study down here, okay, it can be a makeshift for anything. Eh? It can be a study, it can be a walk-in wardrobe, or it also can be a very small temporary guest room or even 
okay, your mates area, right? So there's a home shelter or you can be the study. Some of them want it to be nearer to the, the bedroom to take care of the kids. If not, yeah, the home shelter can also be, be part of it. If not, you can also have a storage as a study. So, or you can be a walk-in wardrobe. So a lot of things can be can be done down here. Okay, so it's very flexible, of, especially for this four bedroom. Okay, it comes with a private entrance as well. It's in the dining. Okay, you have your dry kitchen and your wet kitchen. Okay, so this is a very beautiful dry kitchen. Okay, uh, show flat, you can be able to see it. Okay, so there's this tall boy here, you know, some uh, cabinet space, you know, yard, WC and a balcony. So this layout, guys, will be a hot seller. Okay, only two stacks. Okay, the show flat unit is a slightly bigger, but the difference is it has a larger fourth bedroom. It has a walk-in wardrobe and the master room has a balcony. The 1173 don't have balcony in the master. Okay, the 1173 also don't have walk-in wardrobe. So for those who want a little bit on, on this, they to enjoy life with a bigger you know, room, bigger walk-in wardrobe balcony, then they'll take up this layout. Okay, if not, it's very similar. The kitchen is also similar. Wet and dry, you have another dry you know, kitchen outside, home shelter as well, and also study. So it's pretty much similar. The difference is only just, you know, these three points. Okay, so again, this is 1313. One, one, it's going to be bigger in size. That's why I say the 1173 will sell much, much faster because 1173 and this is going to be how big difference, right? So you times your per square foot, it's going to be like maybe two to 300,000 difference with you. So the 1173 will sell first. Okay, 1335, just a bit of difference in the walk-in, what you call the foyer area. Okay, that's about it. If not, inside is pretty much the same. Kitchen is similar. Similarly, it has a study, a balcony in the master and the balcony in the living. So the both of the two, uh, bit, both of the four room layouts uh, have the similar kind of concept. Uh, two balconies down here. Okay, so this one, only two stacks. Okay, the difference is a larger foyer. Okay, the walk-in, we call this like a private foyer. You come in, you can have some uh, art, art hanging on this wall and also it's a corner unit so both corners down here stack 15 stack 22 so for those who like corner yep this is the largest unit so this is the largest unit we have at normal granite you want any bigger also don't have okay so this is the biggest you can get okay so what are some of the fittings huh? so the color tone is more like the oat finishes a bit on the you know oat huh? so a bit you can see a bit muted grayish creamy kind of feeling okay so this is what you can see there you get the backsplashes for your kitchen and you have very shimmering uh, finishes for the kitchen cabinet. So if you've seen the show flat, okay, developer always want us to highlight it, it shimmers. Uh, okay, so all the cabinets, they have this little bit of tin down there that shimmers. So just uh, be aware of all this. Okay, so this is what we call the tall wall, the cabinets, you know. So this is the dry cabinet for some of the layouts. Okay, the, you can see this is the three plus uh, premium and study. And the four bedroom also has these cabinets. Okay, so of course the uh, the bathrooms, okay, you have uh, towels, it'll be beautiful wall tiles. So this is the color tone for it. And it comes with all your mirrors and shelving. It doesn't have the lights, uh, just take note. Uh, so no lightings, but it does have all the cabinet top and bottom shelves. Okay, and I think also to highlight, there's this, uh, uh, what do you call that, a uh, valve that you can install your own bidet. Okay, not all uh, projects have it. Uh, so they have this uh, water outlet valve so that you can install your own bidet yourself. Okay, so another uh, look for it. So the color tone will be a bit old and muted. Uh, so very beautiful, uh, luxurious feel. Okay, the cabinets, of course, uh, do remember to open up this uh, accessory uh, corner. So if you want to call it the accessory cabinet, accessory drawer, uh, I'm not sure how you want to describe it. Okay, but I think we call it the, the, the accessory cabinet. Okay, now on top, they can also put some of the uh, luggage or, you know, your bed sheets and all that it can all be be tucked away and hidden down here. So just take note where you're in the show flap. Now do highlight this kind of uh, uh, mirrors, ca uh, accessory cabinet, and also some uh, top shelves for them to keep all their storage. Okay, so uh, fit fittings and furnishes, uh, we have sanitary fittings. We have a Gerbrit, we have a Frank, we have a Hans Gore. So I think we are not new to it. So just uh, highlight all this to them. Okay, uh, Bosch induction cooker for mainly the one, two, uh, three depends on the layout. So please double check the floor plans. Okay, of course, you have your Bosch uh, hood uh, oven, okay, washer dryer, and depends on the unit sizes, they have a freestanding uh, fridge. So it's freestanding, it's not built in. So all the fridge will be freestanding. Okay, so a summary of the interior fittings. Uh, all the living room, as mentioned, because of the green mark, uh, they actually come, uh, they provide a pre 
prism ceiling fan okay so all the units will come with a ceiling fan okay to ventilate the place so take note of that okay uh, in terms of a kitchen you have your quartz countertop which is a stone top okay important to take note is stone top okay of course you have your finishes your uh, wardrobe accessory cabinet right? the one i mentioned to you okay please uh, open up the cabinet when you're at the show flat and of course all your fitting and finishes and a valve right that can install your own bidet at the uh, uh, master bathroom itself so these are small little things that you can highlight to them okay uh, home systems you can connect to the different home systems so smart homes is uh, no longer new but you still must highlight because not all customers you know know about all these things okay so we are agents we know but customers sometimes they don't understand so a smart home system can cost between five to eight thousand or sometimes even ten thousand dollars so depends on the brand so let them know that they're smart home systems okay you have your digital lock okay digital pin codes okay or through your app itself okay it can connect to your to your phone okay also you can control your aircon and lighting so after a hard day's work you go back home before you go back home you can turn on your aircon ready right so you can cool down the house if you want you know before you reach home so these are small little lifestyle smart home systems that uh, the buyer can actually do for themselves okay of course your your mirrors are uh, sorry your ip cameras if required okay so you can also uh what do you call that uh, have all these uh recordings for safety of the home right security it's all there Okay, also you can connect to Google Home, right? So this one, please explore yourself with the client so they can always connect to Google Home. And I think for all condominiums, uh, I think you know, uh, you should know as well that all condos now moving forward, you know, they have a lot of their own uh, smart community app, right? So whereby you can book your own facilities, you know, you have your residence handbook, uh, forms, uh, intercom, you can turn uh, open the gate and doors all through the app itself okay? so everything now you know each condo will have their own smart community okay so this is where you can book your facilities using this okay so uh, smart home and smart community i don't want to go too much into the details uh, but just highlight to them that this there's this smart home features at Norwood Grant. okay so more importantly i think uh market updates uh, so uh, please take note because uh, these are things that you can have table conversations with your customers and also it gives them confidence why they should buy a property today okay so you guys know that uh recently not recently i think yesterday or last night no not last night uh, the night before there was a uh, interest rate reduction by the us us federal reserve okay so take note this is the biggest cut in four years okay since the pandemic i think uh, we already know that it's going to cut but it's going to it only cut only like two days ago by right we expect it to be the year the starting of the year is just being delayed okay so take note okay now they already cut it right so moving forward you know they have they are going to cut even more so what i'm trying to say is that you must invest in the right market cycle okay where we are today okay you can see interest rate has went up but now they are cutting so you know that once they cut it will boost property demand right why it signals confidence okay all these kind of things that happen in the market is not just about dollars and cents yes dollars and cents mortgage will be reduced a little bit okay but ultimately it's all about market sentiment so when things start to be more vibrant and more confidence people start to purchase properties okay so anyway singapore uh, interest rate has to benchmark the us okay and it may take between three months six months sometimes nine months for singapore to react okay so within the next six to nine months you will see you know these effects coming in where mortgages will be lowered Okay, so in the longer run, just to show you that every year, okay, the Fed actually anticipate interest rate to go down. Okay, so now there is around 5 to maybe 4.75 to 5. They anticipate to go down to around 2.8, which means Singapore uh, interest will also follow suit. Uh. So just take note, okay, for over the next 2 to 3 years, interest rate will go down. So when interest rate go down, you guys know what's going to happen. Okay, so this is the projection, okay when it will cut depends sometimes start of the year sometimes middle of the year sometimes end of the year but when any time they cut okay you know that there's going to be news right for example why why they cut it now is because they're going to have uh, u.s elections very soon already, right so these are small little key things that you you can take note uh. so they don't want to they might as well cut it to, uh, at a point whereby they're going to have elections uh, okay so but it actually uh, uh helps singapore because uh when the cut of interest rate, Singapore banks have to benchmark and then home buyers get lower 
interest. Okay, so this is how it looks like. If they were to buy a $1.5 million property, you know, in the event, if today let's say it's 4% and moving forward in the next uh, one, two, three years, it drops to 2.5, installment actually really drops by a lot. Uh. So this increases affordability for buyers. So in future, today, if it's high, it's okay because you know, you know, three, four, five years down the road, it's going to be lower. So you already know that there's this cycle coming, right? You already know what's going to happen in the next three to four years. Last time, we don't have all this data. Guys, all this data, we don't have it right? long, long ago. So we do not even know. We can't even anticipate. But at least now, you are in the know, right? So there, this is all about knowledge, right? So you know a little bit more, you can anticipate a little bit better. So moving forward, this is why we believe, okay, it will help give Singaporeans a bit more, you know, a confidence and bullet, uh, more firepower to purchase properties. Okay, so this by ERA, so what's going to happen? So you can see when interest rate cuts, maybe let me bring you the bus a little bit. Uh. So when interest rate cuts, okay, you will see a spike in transaction, right? People start to buy properties. So when people start to buy properties, okay, it will naturally boost up prices. So this red line actually is your interest rate. So it has been low for very long, right? So during this part, Okay, actually, if you ask me, uh, the property market is super hot. That's the reason why Singapore has to come up with cooling measures. If not, uh, every time like that, uh, property price will shoot like crazy, right? So because of all this happening, you know, government have to come up with cooling measures, right? So along the way, fast forward today, okay? Fast forward, uh, so when interest rates start to cut, you will again anticipate transactions to go up by a little bit more okay so just take note so we are in the right cycle now you know while waiting for prices to go up okay what are the other supporting indicators okay so the red line actually is our gdp okay our blue line is our property price index okay so let me bring you to the past once your property blue line is high compared to your gdp now this is what we call a bubble right and that is where you know suddenly got recession because property price cannot go up against your fundamental you know gdp singapore growth okay so again okay you can see yeah, if the blue line it's more than the red line you know it signals very high price okay so a crash happened again right so but this time round okay the red line is actually all our growth you can see because of the cooling measures uh, all our prices are well below okay the singapore growth what does this mean it means to say we are in a very safe environment to buy properties. Okay, so we are not we are not even overvalued. Okay, we are super undervalued. This red line also indicates your income, right? So when the when GDP goes up, Singaporean income also go up. So this is the reason why you know you can say that we're still still much much undervalued in terms of Singapore growth. So these are things that you can make use of to show your customer, right? This is by actually by uh, UOB itself. Okay. So of course, uh, why do property go up, right? People will say, Alex, uh, you know, I buy property, you know, who do I sell to? You sure know, every time the price will go up forever. Will it go up forever? Okay, who thinks will go up forever? Click the raise hand button. Let me drink one sip of water. Who things will go up forever? Guys, you must be confident. Uh, things will go up forever. Uh. Okay, why? Okay, why? Uh? Let me share with you why. Okay. Guys, because of this word, population. Okay, we are a very small island. Okay, the reason why property price can go up is because government allows population to come in. That's about it. That's how prices are. Okay, so you don't have to worry, you know, people who don't buy from you because... You, you don't have to worry because the government is more worried than you, right? So how do they do it? Okay, now we are around 5.9 million. Government wants to put it, you know, on the white paper, 6.9. So we have 1 million to go. Now, how is it controlled? Let me share with you. Today, we have 5.92 million. So on average, uh, around 5.9 million population in Singapore, okay? They want to expand to 6.9. But our household is only... 1.5 million right that means we have uh, 5.9 million people but housing residential we only have 1.5 million so what does that mean okay every household we have around 3.09 people staying inside okay so it actually dropped by, by 3.5 uh. what does that mean that means people staying in one house is getting lesser people that's the reason why 
you know, property also getting a bit smaller because they don't need to build too big because family sizes are also getting smaller over the last 10 years. So if you do the math correctly, okay, we have 5.9 million people and if three people are staying in one house, okay, this can only support 4.8 million population. Let me give you a summary. Today, 5.92 million property, okay, we are short of 400,000 homes today okay today we supposed to have 1.9 million units but we only have 1.57 so these are the data okay to show you that this is how government ura mnd plan their housing okay they just look at population divide by number of people they will know how many you need so now you need 400,000, but you only have 1.5 okay you need 1.9 so it's short of so when you're short of homes Okay, that is why there's the demand for homes is always there. That's how it's being controlled. Okay, you just have to bring in people and then wait for prices to go up. Okay, and the projected population is going to be 5.9, right? Which means today we are still short of 660,000 homes. Okay, we are only like five years away. So if every year they still must give 100,000 homes, still not enough. Uh, so, and they cannot catch up with 100,000 homes. So this is how government slowly pays up population and supply to give it constant demand because we are a very small island okay i know some of you may understand some may not but the whole idea is to tell you that this is how government control prices population and the supply of homes okay take note we're going to launch on the 4th of october open for preview all the way to 15th of october booking date will be 19th of october 